Darzone back at it again. Now, Darstone's an interesting creator. He's definitely kind of gone his own way, created his own Discord channel, and really tried to make his own in the Raspberry Pi scene. And, uh, you know, it, it's looking great. He has his latest 512 gigabyte build, and phew, it, it's got a lot. It's got a lot going for it from, you know, four-player arcade collections. I haven't seen many of that. He's always known to have one of the best Amiga sets out there, with especially Amiga CD. So I've always kind of pointed people towards the direction of him for that. It does have Daphne. It has this really slick cyberpunk theme. And as far as done out, this thing is decked out to the max from startup, you know, splash screens, startup uh, screens, boot screens, uh, custom background music, and custom themes throughout the entire thing, which is to be expected these days, especially when this is like his bajillionth image. Now, it's probably like, it's, I don't know, 15 to 20 by now, but um, he's had a lot of different images out there, and you can watch my previous videos, I pretty much review most of them. And uh, so far, so good. I did find one little thing in here that I didn't like, and I'll share with you later in the video. But so far, it's just got a huge, huge collection. As like I mentioned, there's like this four-player collection here, which is really cool. If you ever want four-player games or arcade hacks, you don't see a lot of those. Arcade set on here is around 2,500 games, which is a solid arcade set. Uh, community, these are like uh, what people in his Discord really like. So it's really cool from that perspective that you can... Uh, you know, find some hidden gems and things like that. So from a from a discovery standpoint, and then Dark Zone DZ is his his favorites. Um, it does have a Pixel Desktop pre-installed, Kodi pre-installed, um, and then the scripts. It's got lots and lots of scripts. Uh, what other collections do we have? Okay, yeah, wow. Collections by different game franchises. So like all the King of Fighters. You go in here, you have all the King of Fighters. So all the Metal Gear Solid all the metal slugs jesus look at all those metal slugs Oof, so much fun right there all the outrun games so um collections and then this is rocking 2300 23,211 with uh 50 different systems there's even a favorites for your own favorites if you download this yourself and then these were those um scripts i was telling you about so nothing crazy in here uh bezel project is pre-installed it's not enabled though i didn't notice it well, I only played hack games, so let me try a, a, a regular arcade game. It might be enabled for the arcade set. I did not notice it was enabled for some of the consoles. Output mode, if you're doing 720 or 1080p. Flip Genesis, Mega Drive in different regions. Um, a lot of this stuff is pretty standard. Credits, um, intro video. Speed modes, if you want to overclock. I am not overclocking currently, and it doesn't seem like it comes pre-overclocked, in case you're wondering. And then some other cool scripts like background music, screensaver ch changes, and things like that. Uh, and then your Wi-Fi. Everything else is pretty standard. So let's go through these games. And, and I'm also while we go through this game collection, I'm going to share with you some of the updates. So 3DO, we have 18 games. Here are the 18. As I mentioned, 20 over 23,000 games, over 50 systems, 2,300 Amiga games. That's a lot. Um, Amiga CD though, it has 181. And these are full CHD files with all the audio files and everything like that. So they're pretty large. Uh, Amiga uh, 1200, 149. Amstrad. Now remember, you can put this on an SD card or a USB disc. Um, what does LC say? He says, um, he's been testing it for months. Okay. Well, I found one issue with it. It might even be really easy to fix, but we'll see. So Amstrad, or Arc, uh, Amstrad 19, almost 2000 arcade 2561. So let me go ahead and boot one up really quick and just see a lot of these are CPS games. Let me find just a straight up MAME game here. Uh, let's do three by three puzzle. And let's see if there's a bezel here. I want you to see if there's, so there's this loading screen and I just want to see if bezel projects was on or not. A lot of the bezels just have like the default dar zone uh, bezel. Yeah, see, I've noticed all of them have this little uh, retro machine. 
So you'd have to turn on your, um, you'd have to go over to Bezel Project and turn that on Atari 2600, 680. And if you want to do that, you just go over here to Options, um, System, not Options, and then you go up to the Bezel Project and you uh, can download those and turn them on. Okay. Um, Atari 2600, 680, 5200, 72. Pretty cool cyberpunk theme, don't you think? Uh, 84, 7800, Atari Lynx Portable, um, 85. As far as the music on here, it's a soundtrack from Brutal Bass, Omega Kid, PRMOS, and many others. Splash screens are installed, ST2600, Commodore 64, 4000. Um, there's the mystery random engine. I mean, you could do that with the screensavers already. Pick a random game. So CDTV, which system is this? Oh, okay, yeah, it's like an MS-DOS type thing. Some pretty cool games there. Some City, nice. Turkan one and two, nice. Coleco 138. Daphne here for Daphne games. So he has over a hundred custom collections. We started seeing those. Those collections are like the King of Fighters collections and things like that. Dreamcast 142. We can go ahead and scroll through here really quick. This is a large Dreamcast set. Now, uh, how does this stack up to other images? You know, 512 gigabytes is kind of the limit just because one terabyte SD cards are really pricey, harder to get. Um, so unless you put this on a hard drive and, uh, you know, it doesn't seem like he has plans of like expanding this, but we're about to get to PlayStation in a little bit and there's over 500 PlayStation games as well. So between the PlayStation, the Dreamcast and some of the other CD based systems, there's, um, a lot of games on here. So moving along family disc system, 65 game bear two, game gear, 281 game boy, 493. So he, he, so these are all the sets. So complete full sets on all these older systems. 1090 on all like the non CD based systems. Game Boy Color 588, GX 4021, Intellivision 127, Sega Master System 285, Sega Mega Drive. Remember, we can change that to Genesis if you want in the scripts. Over 1100. Now I'm guessing that they're they're adding the um they're adding the hacks here as well, and then there's a separate hacked folder as well. MSX 636, Naomi 62. Let's see what's in there. Um. So he says all the sets are polished, lots of gems, hacks, mods, and unreleased stuff that you can't find anywhere else. Includes Dreamcast games under the WinCE, like Sega Rally 2 and Half-Life. Let's see if Half-Life runs before this video is over. Let's go check out Half-Life, see if that's running. Uh, Nintendo 64, 129, a large Nintendo 64 set. And this is where I found the issue. I'll just go ahead and show you my issue really quick. Um, when you click on here, and I went ahead and I disabled my bezels, but I think this is set up for like a, a full screen. And so you either need to turn off the uh, full screen, go back to 4.3 or just go, um, but you'll see here that it's cut off. See how it's cut off there? Because it's meant to be full screen. So if I go and hit select an X and I go over here to options, uh, or I'm sorry, on screen overlay, let's turn off the overlay really quick and return to the game and see it's a full, it's, it's, it just default into full screen. So you need to either change this or turn off the bezel and run it in full screen. Okay, just warning everyone. That was the big issue I saw. I don't know if maybe he's running it on a different type of monitor, but I'm just running it off at like a 24 inch, or I'm sorry, it's 27 inch, just a standard computer monitor uh, in case you're wondering what I'm running it on. Now, um, moving along, 129 and 64 here, we'll scroll through this really quick. While we look at the other stuff, um, everything is, is, is either CHD files or PBP files, you know, everything with the best compression possible. Um, funny thing about compression is I've been reading up on that. Like, you know, a lot of ROMs are zip files. They, they, they compress the ROMs. Like, for example, NES is .NES for NES ROM. And then somebody wondered, like, well, with NES, like, why would you compress them? They're already really small. Wouldn't you get better performance by not compressing them? And somebody actually did a speed test, and um, 142 here, and there was no significant difference from what I read. So you're not, for those of you who are wondering, like, oh, compression, you know, like an MP3 file, you lose certain characteristics or there's a certain amount uh, in the, in, when you're running a compressed file that uh, that's like maybe re recompiling it, something like that. And um, so with ROMs, they didn't find anything. There was no, there's not significant um, difference there. Okay, so uh, Neo Geo, Neo Geo CD 29. So 50 systems on this thing, 1300. This is gonna include your hacks. Neo Geo Pocket Color 47, Open Board 90, PC, Open Board, wow, that's a lot of Open Board games. PC Engine 226, uh, 100 CD Engine 2, Super uh, CD. Now, wow, that's a lot. Let's go ahead and look through here while you can check that out. 
He did want to thank uh, Hersey, David Marty, EHT, Mad Modder, and Chiquella, also known as Nico La Rosa, for their help with the themes and things. Also, thanks to Arumilla, Franco Franchi, Franchi, Brutal Bass, Cash, Geek, all Discord supporters. All right. Um, and then there's a lot of people complaining about the, this. On, this is on uh, ports are full games of these of these games here. Oh, Super Mario 64 ports on here. That's cool. PSP 133. Let's go ahead and go through here. There might be. Okay. So there's PSP minis on here as well. These are not all full PSP games. Keep that in mind. But um, a lot of the comments I've seen so far is that um, this thing took forever to download. And you might be wondering why it took me so long to write, make this video is because, yes, I as well, you know, took a really long time acquiring this one. It took me like uh, almost half a week or so. So it, um, it takes a while, just for those of you wondering what's up with that. Um, and then the only thing I've seen so far is the... Um, and the 526 PlayStation games. Let's go ahead and go through here. And I'll, I'll add some more commentary about this image and what I've seen so far. Um, it boot up on first boot. It auto compresses. I have this on a Samsung uh, S, uh, uh, not S, <laughs> that's the phone. I have this on my Samsung um, uh, Select. I don't, and, and it fit just fine. Um, I do want to see how big this file is really quick. Dark Zone, Retro Machine, let me right click here it's a 476 gigabytes which is a total of 500 500 pretty much 511 868 million bytes so 511 billion 868 million bytes it's a big file so yes it does take you a really long time to get through it all controls are all set up i'm using xbox 360 controller i have no issues whatsoever it runs really well um, funny story about Dar Zone is uh, I subscribed to his channel and they were like doing a live stream and it was just him like eating pasta in his kitchen. And uh, this is before I knew about like what a mukbang was, but I guess he wanted he like wanted people to see him watch watch him eat, I guess. I don't know. I feel like if I was to do that, no one would care and get a lot of dislikes. People are like, what are you doing? True talks, what are you doing with your life? If I wanted this, I'd go see Blah, blah, blah. Insert famous celebrity vlogger in the blank. But I just thought that was funny. I believe he's Italian. He's from Italy. So, gotta love your pasta. Speaking of pasta, I was watching Chop the other day. At, uh... And, uh... This guy, this kid, he was probably like 21. I'll call him a kid. He was, uh from Italy and he was making pasta and he's like, they're going to love my pasta. I know I'm going to win this competition. And he overcooked his pasta. <laughs> Damn. Like what a slap in the face. 39 of the Sega 32 X. So, um, don't, don't be humble. My friend Sega Saturn's on here, 30 games. Now we can play some of these, but don't get your hopes up, especially if you're not overclocked. You definitely want to overclock to get any kind of performance. But if I were you, I would be playing these on a PC, not a Pi in my personal opinion, uh, 57 scum VM games. And I believe he puts the English translations again, he's Italian, but they should be in English, which is good for a lot of the U S and UK people out there or people that, uh, Sega CD 115. That's a huge Sega CD set. Pretty good there. So pretty much all of them. And, uh, super graphics five, the same five super Nintendo 1100. Remember these are going to have your hacks as well. Super Nintendo CD, pretty cool. So these had like upgraded soundtracks on them. They're really fun. I highly recommend you check these out, especially if it's a game you want to play. It's a cool way to play the game. Uh, sharp 68,250 ZX Sinclair 1293. Okay. Now here, okay. There's a Thomas wave. There's some more games, but these are all your four player games, probably a lot of arcade games, but I'm sure there might be some non arcade games. Let's see. These are all arcade games so far. Sega arcade Mame. Mame, CPS. Okay, yeah, they're all pretty much arcade games. Maybe they didn't include the Dreamcast games. So isn't there some four-player Dreamcast games? Okay, so it's four-player arcade games, it looks like. Arcade Hacks, 26. So some bootleg games. These are going to find some really cool, like, unheard of games and things. Um, and they're not going to have video snaps or anything like that. Oh, that's another thing I haven't talked about, which is video snaps. I don't think, yeah, see, he, he doesn't put any video snaps. And I can dig that. I can dig that because uh, with 20, if each video snap is like even like, what is it, like 0.2 megabytes, but then there's 25,000 games, that, that could take up a considerable amount of space that can be another system that you haven't included. So uh, Thomas Wave 618. So Commodore 64, Cartridge 388, uh, 
Commodore 64. I think this is the mini version, or I always forget these two. Um, but uh, the normal one, 561. Community-based games, these are all from the community. CPS games, CPS 1, 2, and 3. Desktop is your Pixel. Family Computer, 242. That's another system. Cody is installed. Sega Mega Drive. So why is this here? Okay. Uh... Oh, Sega Mega Drive Mini. That's why. I was like, what the hell? So the mini system, you know, kind of like the, the Nintendo Classic Mini over here. Um, Sega Mega Drive Japanese games. You got 103. And then Sega Mega Drive Hacks 144. Now, remember, this, these games, these games, and these games are also in the Mega Drive folder over here. Right, so to, these are that, those numbers are included in the Mega Drive over here, wherever that is. Jesus, did I miss it? I bet I missed it already. Let's get back to Sega Game Gear, Sega Master Mega Drive. Yeah, so those three hundred games are are part of this fourteen eleven hundred forty two games over here. And as you see here, it's scrolling pretty good, you know, especially for a Raspberry Pi 4 that isn't uh, overclocked. This is the uh, two gigabyte version. You could get the four gigabyte version or even the, he, he doesn't say anything about the Pi 400, but it is on Raspberry Pi, uh, Retro Pi 4.7. Uh, okay. Yes. Pi 400. He confirmed it. Okay. I wanted to confirm that. So yes, it works for the Pi 400. That brings us to Nintendo Classic, Nintendo Hacks. Again, so these Nintendo Classic Mini and Hacks are included in the Nintendo. PlayStation Games Classic are included in the PlayStation's 526. Now, Sega, these are just all Sega arcade games. Super Famicom, also included in the Super Nintendo Collection, I'm sure, 214. Super Nintendo Classic, Super Nintendo Hacks, you got 86. All your collections for all your different stuff. I wonder if he has the Drew Talks collection. I know he did that a while ago. He did, like, all the different YouTubers. Uh, okay, no, got rid of that. Uh, all games, so short of a little over 2,300, and that's it for this image. So uh, what did I want to do? I want to launch Half-Life really quick for you all, see if that works, and then give you my final thoughts on this image. So, um, so far, really cool. The only thing that really kind of bugged me is that issue with the resolution. I feel like it shouldn't have been, an, it should be a non-issue, but here we are. And... Uh, Love the theme. Love the custom music. I love the organization of the image. I love that his his ROM sets and his collections have only gotten better and better over the years. So it's it's even a contender for the download and, and kind of build yourself or, or work off and maybe delete some of the older systems or, or newer systems that you don't play. And then vice versa, you know, or vice versa, you know, and, and you can totally do it. Wow, it's running. Okay, cool. So this does work. You just need to set up your Dreamcast controls. They were not set up by default for Xbox 360, so you do have to set those up. All right, so final thoughts. How cool is this? Retro gaming, so many games on your on your fingertips. I know that the biggest, the biggest issue we're going to see here is people complaining about how you can't play that many games in your lifetime. Why would you even do that? You know? And, uh, yeah, I mean, maybe it's not you. Pass along. Move along. Nothing to see here. Um, but like I said, Dar Zone, appreciate him. And he's just been super, I, I don't know, like I lose track of how long I've been playing around with the Raspberry Pi. I want to say he's been in the scene for many, many years. So for him to stick around and just keep working on his image, I mean, there's something to be said about that, you know, the perseverance. And, um, and she's running really good. This is a PlayStation game that tends to, you know, struggle just a tad bit out of all the different PlayStation games. It's running really well. And you can see the bezels are working here just fine. I guess maybe it's just for a couple of the systems. That was my issue. Um, so, um, and you, that might even be a thing you can change when you hit A and you just change the, the resolution there when on boot up. Roundhouse. Roundhouse. So... Anyways, I'm going to give this image an A. I really like it. It's a huge image. He has complete ROM sets on here. It's clean uh, theme, lots of customization, nothing to install or change except that small fix for me, which, you know, some people maybe depending on your monitor, you don't even need to do anything. And, uh, you know, I, I like it. I think it has a lot going for it. And uh, you could tell there's been a lot of TLC put into it. So I can't knock that. It's definitely not something just thrown together last minute. And so... Uh, yeah, I like it a lot. I'm digging it. I, I still have a lot to explore with it, but uh, on first showcase, uh, pretty cool stuff. So thanks to Zone, Thanks to the community. Thanks to everyone else. That's what I think. Let me know what you all think, and then we'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe.